Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I'm in a house dress with crazy hair. I have not found, well that's not true, I have found a hairdresser here. I just haven't made an appointment yet and I need it badly. So here's the deal, this new style of content that I'm stepping into, I'm a stay at home mom of two kids. So keeping up the previous style of content that I used to do is hard because I just don't have the time that I used to have. I used to have a ton of childcare, full-time nanny, and I just didn't love that life. And so stepping into this new way of life, the my content just kind of naturally changes. Perfect example, today I was like, I've got to clean the kitchen. I've got to pick up the living room. I've got to do this, this, and this. I have this big of a window to get it done while the baby naps and Sawyer has quiet time. Oh, but then I need to film a video. What am I gonna make? Well, why don't I make a video about cleaning up the kitchen and picking up the toys and how I keep this house quasi organized with two kids under three. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Stay at home mom cleaning tips from yours truly. And I will preface this, I am learning as I go. No expert here, but I definitely have learned a couple of good things that work for us. So I've boiled it down to four tips that really have helped me. I would love to hear your guys' tips, so if you have any tips, please leave them below. I think that's the best part of YouTube is how we all can share and learn from each other. And I also just have to say, I love that my audience here is of all ages. I get such great advice and just like nuggets of wisdom from some of you ladies that had babies 25 years ago and some of you ladies that have a one-year-old. Like, I just feel like we have such a wide age group on this channel. I think that's really special. So. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video and talk about my four strategies of keeping a handle on my house as a stay-at-home mom. And I do wanna say thank you so much to Narwhal for sponsoring today's video. One of my new secret weapons that I truly do not know how I could do this without would be Narwhal, and I'm gonna tell you all about it, so stay tuned. So when it comes to the two things that clutter my house the fastest, there are two things. One is shoes and the other is toys. Those two things can be easily grouped together and stored in baskets. I have a basket right by my mudroom, like from the garage into our house. That is where all the shoes go. All the shoes that the kids both wear right now in this season are in that basket. Also, their socks are in that basket as well. And it makes it very easy now for Sawyer to put on his own socks and shoes. Yes, thank you, Lord. We have unlocked a new level of freedom that Sawyer can do that. And then for Brody, he just sits right there. I put his shoes on. I'm not running around trying to get their shoes. Also, when it comes to toys, I have a lot of storage units. So I have like options for storage in that capacity. But I will say, if you don't have actual bookshelves, utilizing baskets or baskets with lids or ottomans that have storage in them is the way to go. Downstairs, where we are not in the playroom, I try to limit the amount of toys that we have down here just to things that I know they wanna play with. I have two or three different giant baskets that go into those cabinets that when I do my quick cleanup, which is the next tip, all the toys go in there and when I have more time to like sort through them and organize them, I'll go back to those baskets but it allows for me to have a place that I can corral everything and get that visual like clarity and clean. <sighs> so number two is every night, I try to do a 15 minute cleanup. Now here's the deal. I have a one year old and a three year old and I feel like we are just now starting to get into this phase with the three year old where he could do it with us, you know? It's not just me that has to clean up. I'm trying to teach him how to clean up, which is a battle and it is a sacrifice to include him because it makes it so much harder. If I am just cleaning by myself, I can get it done so fast, but I also don't want my kids to grow up learning. They go to bed with a messy playroom and they wake up and some magic fairy came and cleaned their playroom for them. Isn't that nice? I want them to learn to pick up after themselves. So we've started to include them. And uh, maybe this is mean mommy of me, but I have decided a lot of the time, I either will tell them anything on the floor goes in the trash if you don't pick it up at the end of the 15 minutes. 
or I will corral everything into one basket. And then from the basket, they have to take things out and put them away in their rightful place. Now, my kids, like I said, are still young. And so Brody isn't really doing this. It's more so Sawyer. And it is very much like assisted at this point where the basket, I try to keep smaller for him. And I try to put the toys that I know where it goes and like, I'll put the basket near those. So it's a very simple, easy access, easy to put away, not a big barrier for him to clean up. Cause right now I'm just trying to train him to actually do it. And the easier it is for him, the more likely he will get in the habit of actually doing it. And it just like helps, it really does. And the other thing too is like, it helps when you have a, some sense of organization for the kids to follow. If you don't have the baskets and with labels and the places for them to know where things go, they're not gonna know where things go and that's just gonna lead everybody to kind of not be successful in it. So having a spot for everything and then committing at the end of the evening. Okay, we are going to do a 15 minutes. You can make a game of it. My kids don't really get the competition of it yet. Sawyer's getting there, but Brody doesn't really get it. But I think if your kids are like three and above, making it a competition seems like that would be really fun. Like who picked up the most toys or did everything get put away? or if you approach it the way I do, which is it's gonna get thrown away if you don't pick it up. You know, whatever works. And it gets them to take care of their toys, put things back, and then when we start the next day, they're not overwhelmed because kids do get overly stimulated by mess. So if everything looks like a mess when they walk in to play with it the next day, they're gonna walk out and go, I'm bored, I have nothing to do. And when they have a zillion toys in front of them, the reason they feel like they're bored is because they can't even see what toys are there because all they see is like mess, you know? So it's a win-win for everybody. Number three, my sweet husband does the dishes and I have learned to not micromanage how he does the dishes. And I have accepted that my job is to do the counters, do the hand washing of the pans and the wooden spoons. And then he's loading up the dishwasher while I scrub down the counters because I cannot stand dirty counters or dirty table. With two little kids, you know, your table becomes this like 3D mountainous, surface that just has everything stuck to it. And so I take care of the counters and Tyler takes care of the dishes. We try to do this after dinner right away, but I will be honest, a lot of the time we don't. And then when the kids go down, we try to do it after they go down. And if we don't do it then, then we do it in the morning. I really like to wake up to a clean kitchen. So like the most ideal time would be after dinner. You both just like take 30 minutes or 20 minutes, however long it takes and clean up the kitchen and do one good, wipe over. Now you might be wondering, well, what about the floors? Because if you know kids and dogs, they make a mess out of a molehill. Is that a phrase? No, a mountain out of a molehill. What does that even mean? Kids just, they're, they are little tornadoes and they make a mess and there is rice on the ground and there's dog dirt, like from the mulch, sorry, not dog dirt, but like Scout brings in leaves and Scout is hypoallergenic, so she doesn't shed like a normal dog, but she does shed some, like especially if she's really long, she'll definitely shed. And guess who else sheds? Me. The floors need a good vacuum, I think every night, but to me that like puts for some reason that just seems like such an extra step. Listen, we I have the capacity to do a little 10 minute pickup and then we just walk on dirt for the, you know, you walk around your house and you're like, oh, that's a crunch, that is rice, that is this. No, it's miserable, nobody likes it. So number four, this is something that has been the biggest blessing as a stay-at-home mom, the Narwhal Frio X Ultra. It is the best robot mop and vacuum, okay? This thing does it for you. So while I'm wiping the counters and Tyler's doing the dishes, Mr. Narwhal is over there cleaning up all my kids' little crumbs and rice and all the things so that I don't have to do that after I put everyone to bed. And not only that, he will vacuum everything and then he will mop my floors. And he is self-cleaning and he knows where he's going because he maps out the house. So he like has eyeballs and knows like, this is the dining room, this is the kitchen. And here's the best part. I can go on the app, I can set a parameter so I can say, hey, this is the area I wanna clean, or I can identify what room is what and say, clean the bedroom, clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen. So almost every night I hit clean the kitchen and it knows where to go and it'll clean the dining room and the kitchen and pick up all the mess from that night's cooking and eating and all the things. Is that not the most genius? Like, oh, here's the best way to go about it. You hit vacuum and mop and it vacuums it all and then it goes around with its little mop and it mops it. And it has a sensor that it's like dirt sense. It knows how dirty your floors are to know if it needs to go a second time around to really scrub it and clean it. Can you even imagine? It is like a mother's best friend, truly. 
So some of the perks, it has a zero tangling floating brush. Now that is something that's great as it picks up all my hair or scalps little hair if she's really long that'll come off. Um, it will not get tangled in the bristles, okay? So not only does the hair not get stuck, but you don't have to actually empty the dirt collection bin for like seven weeks. It has enough room to store it, but it's just like a very low maintenance personally option, which I love because I'm very busy. And to me, cleaning the floors is a very time consuming effort. The other thing with the mop that's great is it's a hand-free cleaning experience. When, the, when it finishes mopping, it goes right back to its little home base, tucks right on in, and it actually cleans the mop pads itself. So that way it eliminates the bacteria and all that stuff. It like knows how to clean them, knows how to auto dry them. You do not have to touch it, it is just hands free. Push a button on your app and it just goes home and cleans itself. I'm like, what in the world, this is great. It does have a laser, like I said, that like knows where it's going in the house. But Dirt Sense is great because not only does it identify how dirty your floors are, it will also identify how dirty the mop is and if the mop needs to be cleaned over and over, if you need to replace the mop pads, if you need to add more mop solution. It's, it's just, it's like super smart. It just knows how to do all of those things and it'll identify it and tell you on the app so that you can do whatever you need to do to update it and make it better. But surprisingly, no one tries to sit on him. They just love to watch. They think it's so cool when he goes back to his house and goes to bed, they say he's tired. Uh, you can actually set it at nighttime, which I've done that too, and go to bed because then everybody's out of its way and you wake up to sparkling clean floors. It is a miracle. It can work on hardwood. It can obviously vacuum on carpet. If you have really plush carpet, you could tell it not to vacuum on certain carpets. Like it is mapped out and so techy that, and, but so simple. It just, it knows the floor plan. I pick it up and take it upstairs. It mapped out upstairs. It knows this rug is too thick. I don't really want it to mess with it and get on there, but it does get up on a rug. Like if you watch it, it will lift it, its hind leg and climb up on the rug. I mean, it's like a little spider robot and then it vacuums up that area. It's just genius and it's so smart. I think it needs to be on everyone's Christmas list. I think it needs to be on everyone's uh, Mother's Day list. So I'm gonna link it below. You guys can check it out for yourself. The Narwhal Frio X Ultra. It's gonna be your new best friend. It's my new best friend. And it looks cute. You know, it's out and everyone sees it, but it looks beautiful and it blends into the wall. So it's like not an eyesore, which is another huge plus from an interior design perspective, can I just say. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of some of my tips of how I'm keeping things clean and organized in this house. I love that I can make content that just fits my lifestyle right now and I'm hoping that the things I'm sharing that you guys, that's resonating with you. I've said this before, but it's really cool. I feel like a lot of you followed me during my wedding series almost eight years ago. And so a lot of you are in the same life stage as me now. You are having kids and you have messy rice spilling children. And so my hope is that as we all kind of are growing together, that this is content that you guys are still um, able to be encouraged and inspired by. And yes, there will be interior design content every once in a while when my schedule allows. But for now, this was really fun to make. So I hope uh, I'm, I'm losing my little window here for bedtime. So I gotta run for nap time, but I love you all. I hope you're doing great. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. No, come here and tell the camera. What's his name? Sweepy. Sweepy. Wait, they can't hear you. Sweepy. What is Sweepy? Sweepy says vacuum. And? And, and a dryer. And a mop. And a mop. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Say bye-bye, Sweepy. Bye-bye, Sweepy. <laughs>